no e kule e kule lodo yi o ati gbogbo bi te tin po wa lori eto mo nbo mo ede ti mo ba pada de What's the time? So far. Mm, wow. Mm. I still need more sleep. I'm tired. Mm. Why won't you be tired? With your animal display all night. Oh, really? Just tell me I did a good job. Me? Mm. Bad boy. Yes. You're not good. Have you received the alert? No, I've not. You may check now. You should be there. Alright, I'll be on my way to the bank right away. Thank you, man. Alright, thanks. I really appreciate it. Oh. 
Are you surprised to see me? Yes, I'm surprised. Dad. In my son's house? Ah. All the way from the village. Ah, Dad, I want to be You would have even called me when you were in the car, actually. Ah, what if I've traveled? Oh, oh actually, I came for you. And uh, I will let you know that later. Meanwhile, let me quickly go and use my child. Ah, baby. Ah. I see you love me, yo. What is it? Uh, you be cool. I have a visitor today. Uh, who is that person? A friend. I have a friend. Oh, a friend. A friend. A friend. Is it a male friend? A female one? Ah, Dad, I'm not gay. Eh. Uh. That means it's a female friend. Uh, yes, a lady. A lady. You go. Uh, you go. I'm going to 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 go. I'm i I mean, power down. Hmm? Ah, Benny. Share the bamboo. See how we're batting deep. Cafe Fayao. Mamu was a bully, okay? You call him a mala, a bully was a CV. Ah, ah. So let's be fair. Ah, ah. Cafe Lee. Ah, palata. Hmm. Eh, Daddy. So, why are you here? Hello. Yes. I will leave where I am now to get something somewhere and then head straight to the church for a reason. Yeah. So you can meet me up there. Okay. Thank you. Ah, I'd love to move with my daughter. And um, okay. <coughs> That's my dad. Ah, thank you. Good afternoon, my daughter. Ah. Please have a seat. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Please, my daughter, who are you to my son? Um, we are just friends, sir. Friends? What type of friend? <clears throat> Bami. Bami. A deal. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. What not a deal? Hey, my daughter, please answer my question, Jari. We are just casual friends, sir. Casual friends? You mean casual friends with benefits? Well, sir, if he's serious, I will consider him, but he is naturally unserious. Naturally unserious? But you are a worker in your church. Yes, sir, a member in the choir. Very good. And you, what about you, my son? Ah, ah. Bobby. <laughs> I'm a member of the intercessory ministry in the church. Yeah. Intercessory ministry. Very good. All right. It's all right. Uh, Bobby, seriously, it's nice to see you again. Hmm. My son, it's not nice to see you. It's not nice to see you at all. Damn, what happened? I'm happy to see your face, but so sad to meet you in this state of yours. I, I don't understand. Ah. What do you mean? What is the evidence that you are you are born again? Eh? You call yourself Christians. Even workers in the vineyard of God, and both of you are fornicators, and you don't show any sign of remorse for it. Ah, oh. Bami, Bami, you know now I am born again. Ha. Yes, now I've given my life to Christ. You see, the most important thing is to confess Jesus and to believe that He died. Hey, hey. see, 
there is, there is grace for everything. Grace covers the rest. If I can just believe everything is all right. Ah, ah, I hear me, Mudari. Eh? Who told you that? Is it, is it not true? Ah! It is not true at all! Hey! But, sir. Why do people actually take this issue of salvation too serious than the one who gave us the salvation? Ah. Ah. Yes, sir. We are saved and that is all. We are saved by the grace of God and this grace of God is sufficient for us all. Can Jesus God understand, sir? Ah. 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 Anytime we are going to worry, we are going to worry. Eh? Hey! We why should I be praying, sir? Ah, engaging in premarital sex with a guy is not is it not enough reason for you to cry? Daddy. Hmm. But you know before I would do, life don't pass that level. Once saved is forever saved. Even pastor saved the mark register for a shower joint. So your pastor preached the message of once saved is forever saved? No, my pastor now is you. But you said your pastor mark register in the red zones. Sir, I don't mean my pastor, sir. I said pastors. I mean some pastors. Dad, say dad. Your old religion, eh? Is for your generation. Things have been modified. The light of the Lord has revealed unto men the meaning of His word. The grace of the Lord is sufficient for us. So. Sir, where did you throw the scripture that says, Shall we continue with sin and say grace you are about? Forget that. You see, this heaven, we will get there together and we will rejoice. <laughs> <laughs> it is not possible the way you are living your lives. Eh? You can continue with sin and say, We are going to meet in heaven. Like it, it can never happen. For the challenge. Uh, see, Dad, seriously, I think we need to end this. You are dragging this. It's getting somehow. We are dragging it too much. Ah, we have to because you are on your way to destruction. Ah, Daddy, destruction, okay. Kilo de Tony. Wait a minute. Let's do it this way. If a man gave his life to Jesus Christ last year, hmm, and he kills someone now and trying to escape, he runs into an accident and dies. Is that person going to heaven? Ah. He killed and he thinks he will make heaven. Oh. He will burn in hell. Hey, what? Ah. Murderers don't have uh, any place in the kingdom of God. So you are now telling me that uh, fornicators and liars have a place in heaven? <laughs> but, sir, you are confusing me, sir. I am not the one confusing you. You have been confused long time ago. Listen to me and listen very well. If you don't repent of your sinful acts and death or rapture catches up with you, you will burn. I mean, you will burn in hellfire. You are doing not Guru, Guru. Don't be deceived by many preachers that preach heresies. Eh? The Bible, I mean the word of God, can never be mod uh, modified. The word of God is unchangeable. So don't be deceived. Huh? Walk out your salvation with fear and with trembling. That is exactly what the Bible says. Take it. What should I do with this, sir? Open to Titus chapter 2, verse 11 to 13. Read it yourself. Okay. 
Okay. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. The time of grace is now, before death or the rapture. And if rapture happens now and meet you or holy, then you are doomed. If any man gives his life to Christ and backslide or continues living in sin, such a man is walking out of grace. No sinner, I repeat, no sinner will be among the saints in heaven. Give me the Bible. Take. Open that Bible to the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Read from verse 14 to 16. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness spring up trouble you. See that no one is sexually immoral. Sexually immoral. Or is godless like Esau, who for a single meal so this inheritance rights as a old as the oldest son. Sexually immoral on the light, the one that you have just finished. Listen to me, children. Listen to me. The message of one saved is forever saved. It's a life from the pit of air. Eh? Don't submit to it. Don't say you were not told. Don't say you were not told. So Go back to God, for He is merciful enough to accept you and make sure you don't go back to your sins again. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 says, Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knows those that are His. Let all those people that name it in the name of Christ depart from iniquity. The only saving grace is that you can still trace your step back to God. And that could be done before death or rapture catches up with you. It's, it's very important to note that God will help you. I think you are right, Daddy. I've been confused all along. I need to make it right with God. Me too.